This is a model 1816 Springfield musket that was picked up off of the battlefield by J.T. Hayes in 1863. And this one has a lot of unique characteristics. This gun actually started its life off as a flintlock musket and was later converted to percussion. And you can tell that because if you look on the lock plate here, you can see what's called a drum and nipple percussion conversion. This one was, again, it was a military musket, was made by the Springfield Armory, and this one actually is dated 1818, okay? But obviously the conversion came much later, probably in the 1850s or most likely during the beginning of the Civil War. Um, you can see the lock plate right here. It looks like 1818 on the lock plate, Springfield could be 1819, but it looks like it's 1818 to me. It has the typical Springfield Eagle and US on the lock plate. This one is battle worn and battle tested. Um, let's try the action. It actually works. It actually works. And the action is actually pretty good. Although, as you can see, it's missing the hammer screw. So this will actually pop right off. And this obviously is not, this kind of looks like, uh, I'm not gonna say it's a blacksmith um, hammer, but it's pretty crude. And this one actually looks like something that possibly would have been used by the Confederacy. Obviously, during the Civil War, the Confederate forces didn't have a lot of manufacturing. They didn't have the, the manufacturing that the Union had. So what they did was they grabbed muskets like this, like older flintlock muskets, and converted them for the war effort. This one kind of looks a lot like that. Um, it is stated on the tang here. 1819, right up here, as you can see, those little markings there. Tang, 1819, it has these, these other markings here with an eagle head and V and P, meaning viewed and proofed, meaning that the, um, the armor inspector looked at this gun, he said, he looked at it, he inspected it, and he viewed it and he proved it and he said, this gun is good to go out to the field. Although this thing has been changed a lot since that time. One thing you can see about this gun, it's missing the entire foreend of this stock. All the whole foreend all the way up here is missing, okay? And this one actually, in our, in our world, in the antique gun world, this would be considered kind of like a fouling piece. So after the War of 1812, say, um, a soldier would have brought his musket back home and instead of basically, you know, just keeping it in that configuration, they would shave down the stock and they would turn it into kind of like a hunting rifle. And this is reminiscent of that. But you gotta also remember that the Southern troops, they didn't have a lot of munitions, they didn't have a lot of manufacturing, and this one could have been sitting in a Southern home, and they grabbed it off the wall, and this is what they brought to the field at Gettysburg. If you look at the, the vast variety of all the kind of weaponry um, on the field at Gettysburg, it's amazing. And you gotta think, it's also 1863, the war has been raging on since 1861, and people were using whatever they can get, you know, to bring to the field. So this one, missing, missing the entire foreend, right? The stock, the forestock right here. It's got a wooden ramrod, which definitely wasn't regulation. And it's got this kind of blacksmith made hammer. And the rest of it is in military configuration. Looks like it used to have some kind of badge uh, on the side of it that's lost to history, right? This is a really interesting gun, which was picked up by J.T. Hayes off the field at Gettysburg in 1863. A disclaimer, please do not try to go out and use these guns. They're not safe to shoot. Please don't do it. Um, obviously, this one is totally unsafe to shoot. We're selling this for its historical significance only. Um, this is a relic of the Gettysburg battlefield. It was picked up by J.T. Hayes. It was brought back to his place at Emmitsburg. It was handed down through the family. It's got total provenance. It has uh, an impeccable chain of custody. And um, a lot of people would look at this and say, ah, this is just a fouling gun. Um, and that might be true, 
but it was on the field at Gettysburg, and that's what separates it from any, uh, any other gun out there. And that's documented, it's in the Chronicles, and it's only available here at RCTV. This is item M1381, a model 1816 Springfield conversion musket for only $1,495. Again, that's item M1381, a model 1816 Springfield conversion musket for the collector-friendly price of just $1,495.